What's going on, guys? So Dragon's Dogma 2 is set to release, I guess technically today, because I'm recording this in the past. So hello, future viewers. So it is coming out, and uh, the game actually looks pretty damn good. But I'm seeing a lot of complaints. I'm seeing a lot of uh, pre-generated characters. And I say pre-generated because they did release the character creator early, so you can go ahead and make your characters and jump right into the game which I think is an awesome idea for RPGs. And aside from the media being weird media and saying, look how much representation there is because of a character generator. Like we've had that in other games for the last two decades. We don't need Anywho, digressing. It actually looks like it might be a fun game and I might have to pick this one up. Of course, like always, I'm going to wait until the reviews are in because I don't trust game studios in 2024. And it's weird that the, the media is already pushing representation in a game that's not even out. And sure, there's a lot of controversy with the consoles getting FPS locked at 30. Quit using a fucking console. It's 2024. PC's always going to be better. Games are made to run and look fantastic on PC. They get cut back to work on consoles. I, and with the price of consoles now, why are you even bothering with a console? Seriously, you can get a PC for a little bit more. What you spend every year or two on a new console, you could just not get one and buy a PC. And, and I'd say it like it is that easy because it is that easy. If you're buying all these consoles every couple of years, you could have already bought a PC. So I don't buy that. But PCs are, I don't buy it at all. PCs are not that expensive. A good PC is not that expensive. A great PC is not that expensive. But anyway, I want to get into some of the character creation because uh, some of these are utterly hilarious. Like, why did somebody make Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> why, why would you want to play as Nancy Pelosi? Like, what the hell? But of course, you know, it's polygons, so they're gonna, you know, show off the dad bods because they want everybody to be fat. But, you know, games journalists are weird. This is the weird thing they do. So let's see what people are actually making for characters because it's actually quite impressive. We got Elden Ring characters that are not fat. I would say Smash. Smash. No, but I mean, this is the, the level of the character creator. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I've heard some people complain, like, there's not enough sliders. There are more sliders in this than most RPG games. There are more ways to design characters. Anne Hathaway got made as a character. Like, how are you saying there's not enough, there's not enough character creation? They made Fiona from Shrek. I think it did a really good job. I, it's a weird, it's a weird one, but it shows the uh, the variations and what you can do in this character creator. And then Gandalf actually kind of looks like Gandalf. I'm I'm actually impressed with this one. This is, this is very impressive. But again, I'm not going to buy a game based off character creation. I'm going to wait till the game comes out. Maybe watch some gameplay, see how it goes. Because we have been absolutely dumped on for buying games only to find out they're absolute garbage. And it was all just pretty glorified, gilded screenshots and videos. But I kind of want to play this one. Maybe it's going to be like Baldur's Gate, where it's everybody talks trash about it, and it turns out to be a totally decent game, besides for some weird things that the journos pushed. But who knows? It might be a good game. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one. And if it's good, maybe next week I'll buy it, and we'll, uh, we'll play that on a Friday stream. Might have to be a Friday stream. That is, if it's good. I'm going to keep my eye on this one. But guys... Uh, It's it's coming in like the base game is $70 and the deluxe edition with DLCs 
pushing $80. Like, I feel like games are actually pricing themselves out of the market. I've seen better games go for $20 or $30 from indie studios. I am I'm not a fan of the price point because what we're getting close to $100 for a video game. I really do hate modern game studios. It's always the AAA companies. We're going to charge you $80. I can buy three games that are more than likely going to be better than most games. Most games. I can buy three or four games for the same price. And I'll get more enjoyment out of them. But I am going to keep my eye on this one. So, guys, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. While you're there, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. But until the next one, guys, be easy like sleazy.